What a muddy mess. Love muddy messes. It's kind of a love-hate relationship, I guess. Wait, what's the best way to get down here? A little breezy. River rats, it's a little chilly out here this morning. Mother Nature's kind of been a jerk to me. She's finally pulling her craft together, but it's gonna be blowing 100 miles an hour, which is why I'm at this small creek. But that's okay, because small creeks are a lot of fun to fish, and catfish are moving a bunch, so who knows where they're gonna pop up. Hopefully there'll be a few here, so let's go. Uh, she's mucky. Definitely gonna put some baits in behind this shallow timber. Because it's a uh, post front, I guess, a week long front. They like shallow timber during high pressure like we have right now. I'm gonna use some floats and stuff today just to elevate my bait and get it off the bottom. So hopefully Mr. Whiskers face can uh, find it a little easier. But they come with these circle hooks. It's not that I don't like a circle hook. It's, well, I don't like circle hook for flatheads or for tentatively biting channel cats, which we might run into today. If they bury it, it's great, but if they're going to nibble on the corners like they do lots of times, I like J-hooks so I can bust them in the face. Anyway, taking this thing off, super simple, it's a quick snap. You have this piece of metal that runs right here, and then cuts back to the middle. Just take that, slide it right off of there, right like that. Get you a nice J-hook. and. You put it on opposite the way you took it off, so that piece that's angled back to the middle right there, put the hook eye on it, just slide it right back down to the bottom. That's it. Real quick. That's why they call them quick clips. Pretty neat, eh? I'm gonna dice me up some creek chubs. The old sneebs. I'm just gonna chunk them up. Moderate sized chunks. So we've had a week of like the highest temperature was like 40 degrees. So, not big chunks, little chunks, medium chunks. And uh, we'll experiment from there. I really want to catch one to eat. We'll see if I have time. Creek chubs chunked. Oh yeah, I gotta replace the hook on this one too. So it got bent out yesterday trying to pull it off of a rock. Got my old braid scissors that actually also work on mono. They'll even work on steel cable. Found that out the other day. Not that I would make a habit of it, but worked once. And I'm gonna experiment with some glow-in-the-dark beads and rattles and try all kinds of stuff if I don't drop it and lose it on the ground. Where'd you go? There you go. These beads make nice buffers for your rattles, so your rattles spin a little more freely. Sometimes floats are good, sometimes they're not, because an elevated bait above a fish that's glued to the bottom isn't always a good thing. So I'm definitely going to run one right on the bottom. Nifty little carrying case. That always freaks me out. I think they're going to fall out. But so far, so good. Throw this dude out. I didn't... Ooh, I almost stepped on my bait. Way to go, dummy. How deep is it, you think? Four? Not even two. Don't take much water high to catfish though, thankfully. All right, ooh, that one has the guts. A little more depth there. All right, kitties, come here. Here, kitty. And now we wait. It is pretty nice sitting here, enjoying a little cup of coffee. Waiting for a rod to go down. He's trying. Oh, he, did he drop it? <laughs> not, not a jumbo. But, it's a catfish. I haven't caught one for a little while. I love how quick it is in small streams. All right. Come here. <laughs> I 
All right, he ate the one with the float, downstream of the turn, and a little deeper water. Gonna have to remember that. First little buddy of the day, you gotta like him. I like him. Wouldn't sure who he's like an ice cube. Do I keep you? Do I let you go? I have a long ways to walk yet. I think I'm gonna let you go. You're lucky. Although you would be delicious size, I don't want to carry you around for the whole morning. All right, back in the water you go. New little lip piercing. All right, time for another. Yes, bartender, I'll take another. See ya. Yeah, he was, the water's cold. 45, probably. All right, one more, 10 more. literally just leaning forward to leave and rod starts bouncing come back all right we'll give him a second backing away fish and come back I feel like I've overstayed my welcome blame it on laziness oh hey goose geeses we got a fun little current break here. I'm gonna drop a couple baits down. Two to five pounders, I should be able to just winch them up the bank. If I get like a 10 or something, I can still walk down in that area. That's gonna be more comfortable. Oh no. Oh. Got lucky there. I'd rather be lucky than good most days though. I'm sure any catfish here already knows I'm here. It's just do they give a crap about me being here or not? And then if there's nothing here, I'm gonna definitely change baits. This will be entertaining if I get bit. Oh, already got bit. Reeled up while he was on there. Whoops. Maybe he'll come back. Definitely spooked him though. It appears I have a little bit of live action. I think he just kind of got serious and left. It's like, yeah, oh, that doesn't taste as good as I thought it would. One little tap, time to go. Pretty sure my butt's dirty now. Look at this crap. It's like, why did I even bring a chair? It's not an A spot, but it's a real solid B spot. Should fish it. Bet there's a catfish here. Oh yeah, there's a nice little hole there. But there's someone living down there. Wee, plenty of wind. Out of tap, 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 -a -roo on this guy. That's all that came of it so far. Literally gotten a bite in every single spot I've threw a bait in the water. I've only caught the fish in one spot that I threw a bait in the water some fairly stout current so if he hits it he should fold it pretty good do it just lay it over that creek chub's nice and juicy for you caught it just for you bud we're in dinker central squeaker central let's slide down the bank just a hair fish the sheer drop off hopefully it doesn't cave in and I fall in the water that would suck Take it down. Uh, Nancy, because I haven't had a good bite hardly all day. Midday update, it's confirmed that catfish do not actually eat food. I went and got some more bait. I had to go meet up with my mom and I feel like I need to get redemption after missing those fish. I have no good excuse. So my downsized baits, I don't know what else I can do. What a little spaz. That's a nice change of pace. Those are the bites where they'd hit it and stop earlier today. Hopefully the warm weather's got them ramped up. And smaller, oh. 
is much more entertaining. That one just got hit, I think. That's a little fella. So to my keister. <laughs> Who says keister? Old people. I'm probably qualified as old. Saying stuff like that, I definitely am. Holy crap, I have a fish. I don't know if I'm gonna get him in. Should probably stand up for this one where he's at. Might have to drag him over some dry ground. I hope I don't have to go get him. But it sure is looking like it. <laughs> hey, we have a fish. Finally one that got serious with it. Oh, I about fell in. Hooked by the nick of the whisker, whatever, whatever that is. You'd be a good one to keep. I just don't want to haul you around, because I got a ways to go yet. Okay. Um, sorry. I'd feel worse, but I mean, they stock fish out of airplanes, and they seem to do all right. I think it's time to move. I made it. Probably gonna be the last place of fish. I'm gonna bomb him with the noggin on there. There's still some blood seeping out, so we'll leave that on. All right, and we wait for a little bit. Best takedown I've had all day. It's kind of exciting. Just bombed a creek jub head as far as I could go. And he must have smelled it, I guess. He might be dinner, if I can get him out of that log. Come here. Uh, yep, slightly better. Not giant, giant, but not tiny, tiny. He will work very nicely. That's my buddy. Say hi, dinner. Oh, hey. All right, bud, time for you to get on a stringer. Oh, are you gonna have friends? He's shaking it like a dog on a bone. And I just lifted it right out of his mouth. Cause he's a little weenie. I think he just spit up corn. Wait, am I touch, I'm touching fish vomit. Gross. All right, so I got this guy. One more and then we're cooking with, uh, say, peanut oil. That's what my grandpa used to say. But uh, technically we'll be cooking with vegetable oil. All right, bud, stay there. Oh, I'm getting bit. Do it, do, do the thing where you take it down. I think I'm in a log. still on it. It was nice of him to pull me into a log. What a loser. Not sure how he's in there, but he's pretty solid. Guess we'll just give him five, ten minutes. Getting impatient. I probably should do this with stick, but Oh, did I get it? I got something out. I don't think the, is the fish on there? I think the fish is currently on there. Yes, the fish is most definitely currently on there. I wonder if the hook's been out though. I didn't figure he was big. Also didn't figure there's any way I was getting him. The only guarantee I make is I'm going to eat him if I get him in. Oh, I got snagged right there. There he is. You are the fish I never expected to see. Oh, he's missing a whisker completely. It's just like scar tissue. Look looks good. You know what else looks good? This catfish. 
So I'm going to eat you. You're going to be wonderful. You are the just the right amount. I'll fish for probably like 20, 30 more minutes, and then I'm going to cook me some dinner. Couple eaters, about perfect. What more can you ask for? I mean, really, I could ask for a big one. I'm always asking for a big one, but pretty happy about that. What's the odds I can get another one to stick over there without uh, getting snagged? I'm gonna bet not good, but I'm gonna try anyway. So what have I ever let things like logic get in my way? You're about out of time, fish. Two minutes, it's the final countdown. I think it's time for me to hit the road. Oh. There was possibly a fish on there. Oh well. Or maybe a stick. We'll just assume it's a stick. I'm gonna go eat some catfish. All right, the fish is clean. I was gonna, like, I don't know, just pan sear them, but fried fish sounds really good. So fried fish it is. So all I got here is four catfish fillets. My homemade breading, which is almond flour, flaxseed meal, and then a bunch of different Cajun spices and Lowry's and cayenne pepper and stuff like that. It's not exact science, I just kind of mix it till it looks like that. I even brought tortillas this time. Life's gonna be grand. Life's already pretty grand, but it'll be even more grand. Ooh, she's sizzling. Does that look wonderful or what? One round done. Ooh, that looks crispy. Crispy equals good. Yeah. Made that one do a cartwheel. Probably more like a somersault, if we're being honest. Boy, I hope that's enough to fill me up. <laughs> that one's hot. Weird, right? Suppose I better uh, put them in a tortilla. Could have brought condiments, but <clears throat> condiments require refrigeration, which requires extra thought. I just leave that in my truck all the time. Hmm. Tortilla is a welcome addition. I think that's about going to do it for me for today. Hope you enjoy the good old windy cat fishing. It's tough to find a nice April day that's not howling in Iowa. That's just the way it is, and that's the way I've always known, so whatever. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the catfish. Hope you enjoyed the catch and cook. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate you watching. Hope you catch a giant.